Bern is a very attractive place for studying climate science for three reasons. Two academic, uh, first of all, we are uh, internationally active in many research topics ranging from paleoclimate reconstructions to paleoclimate modeling, uh, modeling of future climate change, but also uh, biological investigations and investigations on weather patterns and uh, historical reconstructions. The second is that we also have many interdisciplinary studies which are in close contact with the climate-related studies in natural science. For example, policy investigations or world trade investigations. But then the third point is, Bern is actually a very attractive place to live and to be creative. I've indeed been very busy with uh, my charge as a co-chair of Working Group 1 of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, but the contact to students and researchers uh, throughout these four years was essential for me to keep abreast of the latest information and to pass on to the new generation this new information. For a good university teacher, you have to have several ingredients. First of all, you must love your subject. You must be able to convey your personal enthusiasm to the students and to the researchers. But you also must be able to formulate complex connections, complex topics in simple terms and provide the students with the necessary links to the more complex information that is out there in the scientific literature. Master studies have really evolved over the past uh, 20 years. When I was a master student, you were given a problem uh, and then you uh, went off working on that problem and uh, came back with the solution. Uh, and you also had interactions, of course, with your supervisors. Today, I think uh, the students are in exposed to many more pieces of information. Apart from the scientific information, you also have a lot of information uh, available in the internet. And it's a specific challenge to remain creative when so much information is available at the fingertip. Mm -hmm.